So you're thinking about moving to Pittsburgh? In this video, we're gonna talk about the North Hills versus the South Hills. And if you stick around to the end, I'll share with you my personal favorite so you know exactly what's happening here in Pittsburgh. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas, then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about our current market here in Pittsburgh. I'm Krista Lorenzo with Coldwell Banker Realty and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Pittsburgh and I absolutely love it. Whether you're moving in one week or one year, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email so I can help you make a smooth move to Pittsburgh. One of the most common questions I get asked by people moving to Pittsburgh is the difference in the North Hills and the South Hills. If you're looking at a map of Pittsburgh and its surrounding suburbs, it's really broken up into four areas, East and West, and the North Hills and the South Hills. Even though we have 400 bridges and three huge rivers, some Pittsburghers don't like to cross bridges and rivers. I am not one of those people. I'm all over the place. I was born in the South Hills and currently live in the South Hills, but I married a man from the North Hills and I truly love exploring all of Pittsburgh. But a lot of people just like you ask me the difference so they know where they should really start looking. So let's talk about the similarities. They both offer city living all the way out to more rural areas with more acreage. They both offer some of the top school districts in the state of Pennsylvania. They both offer great recreational activities from North Park to South Park. They both offer great food, drink, breweries, and wineries. So what's the difference? The first area we see the difference is transportation. They both have major interstates, four lane highways, two lane back roads, but the South Hills has two things that the North Hills doesn't tunnels and the T. The T is our subway light rail system. So the two main arteries to enter the city from the south are 376 into Fort Pitt tunnels and Route 19 into Liberty tunnels. Now because they are tunnels, traffic does have to converge a little bit to go through the tunnels. But unless it is rush hour or right before a sporting event or a concert, it's really no big deal. But people from the north always say that's something they don't like about the south. But that view when you come out of Fort Pitt tunnels of the city is worth any minute that you might have to wait in traffic. The other transportation difference is that T that I mentioned. So this is our light rail trolley system. It runs from the South Hill suburbs to downtown Pittsburgh and over to the North Shore for sporting events and concerts. It's a great system for daily commuting, kids, visitors, or anyone who just wants to avoid driving into town. Our kids have been taking the T from the South Hills down to downtown and over to Pirate Games since they were in high school. The second area we see a difference is shopping. They both have all the normal grocers and big box stores like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Target, but Ross Park Mall in the North Hills really has a lot of the higher end stores. Louis Vuitton, Brighton, Burberry, Nordstrom, Tiffany's, and many more. So it really comes down to what you like. People tend to stick with areas they grew up with, so a lot of people from the North pick the North Hills and stay there. A lot of people from the South pick the South Hills and stay there. And there are lots of North-South areas that differ not just with North Hills and South Hills. North Oakland and South Oakland, North Squirrel Hill and South Squirrel Hill, North Side and South Side. They all have a little bit of a different feel to them. With so many options, I know you are going to find the area that suits you perfectly. Me personally, I'm a South Hills girl, but you could plant me anywhere in Pittsburgh and I would absolutely love it. And like I said, whether you're moving in one week or one year, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email so I can help you make a smooth move to the Pittsburgh area. Until next time, I hope to show you around town.